we know that as a destination, we have managed to control the spread of COVID very well, which is credit to the government of Uganda, you know, that defines this destination as a safe destination with the capacity to manage epidemics and the pandemic that we have just had. So that should give confidence to the travelers. <laughs> Look no further than 8020 Marketing for your marketing communications partner. They provide services including and not limited to branding, multimedia, PR, promotions, employee engagement and events. 8020 Marketing will put their client and their needs first to ensure quality work and a long-lasting partnership. They are located on Plot 20 Bukoto Street and for more information visit Facebook and Instagram and or their website at www.8020marketingug.com The tourism sector contributes about 8.4 trillion Ugandan shillings, that's about 8% of Uganda's GDP and over 7,000 jobs. Now, it's fair to say that the tourism sector is one of the industries most impacted globally. The last physical engagement on the calendar was Puwate, and the sector registered several achievements in 2019, with 4% growth locally and 6% in the region. Now, Uganda Tourism Boss's Chief Executive of Visa, Lillian Ajarova, said Uganda is rich in nature, wildlife, most notably its diverse, warm tropical climate and people that offer a fusion of adventure, culture, history and great food. It's the best value for money for its square kilometers, more for less and there's something for everyone. She's here with me today. Welcome to the podcast, Miss Lily. Well, thank you very much. I've been following the UTB live sessions on Facebook and your role in steering the collective tourism stakeholder ecosystem to understand what has changed and what will best position the industry to go together and become a force once again in the new normal is commendable. Even the World Bank representative on the first live seminar would testify. Given there's a ban on travel, corporate travel restrictions, event cancellations, and the absolute necessity to socially distance, the global tourism and hospitality sector is reeling from the COVID-19 pandemic. For the sake of our listeners, tell us briefly about the pandemic's impact on the travel sector. Thank you very much. The pandemic has affected each and everyone in the world, in different sectors, but I will speak specifically for the tourism sector in Uganda. As much as we know that the travel and tourism uh, sector around the globe has had similar impact, uh, specific to Uganda, as uh, Uganda Tourism Board, we have taken time uh, to collect data, analyze, and understand what is going on. And from the data that uh, we have so far and the analysis made, the report indicates the impact has, by April, there are over 450,000 people who had direct jobs in the tourism services who had already lost their jobs. And we know that a number of um, the operators were still hanging in, holding on, hoping that, you know, it wouldn't extend up to June. Uh, so there are more people who have also lost their job by this time. And especially by the end of this month, many more will be losing their jobs. We have come to a standstill within the tourism industry. The national parks are closed. No one can travel. We are all locked down. So the operators in this sector, especially the private sector, have no operations going on. And that has forced them to lay off staff, but also they're getting no income coming in. And that already is affecting the level at which they are maintaining their facilities. Mm -hmm. Because if, you're, if you have business going on, uh, you have to keep things to a certain level. But the maintenance they are doing right now to keep the facilities, you know, maintained 
is not the same because also they are, they are greatly impacted because they have no cash flow. The report also indicated that already by 6 April, 92% of the bookings that were made by the hotels, tour companies, the travel agencies, 92% of the businesses for this year 2020 had already been cancelled. And we can only imagine that probably even the 8% was later on cancelled after the 6th of April. And based on the value of the bookings that were received, the estimate is that we have had a loss of 541.3 million US dollars in revenue to the private sector. So that is how great the direct impact has been to the tourism operation in Uganda. That's pretty sad. Although this pandemic has got us to realize that there are no rules or playbook for such a situation and the right answer is constantly shifting while the exact timeline of the recovery is unclear, we must plan around the things that we know for sure.